Hey. Hey. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to start uh, passing the turn to everybody so you can talk us about the projects you research for the past week and uh, give us the examples you find and talk a little bit about the, the first uh, tags, the storytelling tag, so we can uh, go deeper in this definition. Can we start with maybe with Hasem? Is yeah. that okay? Here you are, Hasem. We can hear you, Hasem. What can I chat you? Hasem, we we can't hear you. Hello. Maybe we can go with hey, where is Susana? With Fabrizio. No. Hmm? Oh, Hasem is gone. Hello, Fabrizio. Hello. Can you ask? It's okay. It's okay. Yes, we can hear you. Perfectly. Well. You can express yourself, uh, I think, uh, in English or in Italian, and we will ask Francesco to translate to you, translate you okay. if he wants. But Thank you. All, only uh, one only one rule. You have to be more briefly because Francesco has to translate you uh, to yes. English. I have uh, some uh, words in, in English. Okay, that's perfect. Yes. And then, uh, uh, Francesco can, can translate. Thank you, Francesco. Um, a moment, because I don't know if this is the text. Well, uh, uh, in Milan we started uh, working with the students. Uh, Francesco has a short uh, video clip where I present our team of professors and staff. We also uh, okay, is this possible to what? Go on. What this is? I don't see. Non vedo la mia immagine in grande. Okay. Vado avanti. 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 Uh, uh, if Francesco can uh, uh, show this video, uh, little part of this video, or not? Well, well, we can. There, we... there are in the the video clip is on the the Dream Amar uh, particular urbanism web page. Okay, uh, opening then, now. How long is the video? Yes. I don't know uh, if we can show a video here. I think yes. Uh, Hello, uh, this is the team uh, of the Politecnico di Milan from Milan, Italy. Uh, I'm from Italy. Uh, this is just a minute. We are picking up the the URL and we are going to um, in Google Plus. Yes, Google yeah. Hangout and then YouTube video. Oh, I'm, great! 
I'm the okay. Well, so maybe here. Sure. Just a minute. We are looking to how to do this, and it we think it's possible. That, that, that. Close. Yes. Why? Close. Yes. Ah, here it is. Urban hybridization. Urban hybridization. Hassan. Here it is. Here it is, everybody. Can you repeat, uh, Francesco? I don't know if it's possible to see the video at the same time as I am because I was watching the video, but you added the image. I think. I think. Well, I think Ur Urska. So, so well, Urska did have sound, as I can see in the chat. Yes, you have it. And mm -hmm. and we did too. Do you want us to give a try again? Okay, I'm trying again. Okay, we're going to do it. Or you. Francesco? Yes. You want to do it or we do it? I don't know. If you, I, I don't know. Maybe the best is that people uh, go to the blog because it's not very important as Fabrizio is saying. It's just a nice presentation of the team. And I think the most important is the, the diagram in which they show the methodology, but I can show the diagram, so I don't think it's... So... Okay. Wrong, I don't know. So, so if we can see the diagram, it's okay. Can you share it with us, please? Uh, yes, if it's the link I'm sharing in the chat. Oh. So... But the thing is, how can we see it? I, okay. yeah. Where are the live stream the time? No, no, we can't, we can't. That's we why can. I maybe the best is to go on with uh, the round table. I don't so, know. Okay, so, so we, we can try again with Hasim. Is that okay, Hasim? Just remember, uh, we have to talk about uh, the projects we have uh, looked for it in this week. Go go ahead, Hassan. You're online now, Hassan. Okay, you can hear me. Yes. Um, I thought about the projects uh, the site. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, Hasem is left. I, I don't know. Sorry about all of this. Maybe Sara? You want to try Sara, please? Uh, 
You're online now. Hi, Sara. Hello, Sara. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. perfectly. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sorry, I have Thank you, Yurska. So, for, for us, just just a minute. We are asking Sara about the uh, her research in this week. Sara, you can uh, talk about it because oops, sorry, I have problems, so we oh. can. No, 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 it's okay. Okay, okay so great. Go Welcome. On. <laughs> go on. It's it's all you. Go on. I don't hear you. Okay. Uh, well, at the beginning, I, I thought that uh, I didn't understand the, uh, the target, the storytelling. I thought it was about, um, uh, you know, um, a project uh, which allowed people uh, to talk and uh, to share thoughts. So I published uh, the link about uh, the project in uh, Manhattan. Uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, it was, uh, you know, the, the meeting boat, and uh, it was uh, an installation in uh, New York City, uh, mm -hmm. something like a uh, white frame boat, in which people can sit and talk and so on. And then I remember that uh, during my Erasmus year in Spain, I, I did a project with the, uh, the class, uh, and it was about the, um, it was a project about uh, an intervention in a public space in uh, Cartagena, in, uh, in Spain. And uh, I sent to Francesco and Luzca uh, a PDF document uh, in which uh, all the story of this project is uh, is. is is explained, but I cannot share it uh, with all you at the workshop. So I was talking with uh, Uska and Francesco how to manage it, but uh, I would like to share it with you. Okay. And, uh, I didn't have time to, to publish it on the blog uh, because uh, I did uh, a short version of all the project. Okay. Uh, well, I'm I... going to do it uh, this week. It's fine. Okay, it's okay, uh, Sarah. That's why we were uh, telling everybody that we're going to give another week. This week we're, we can work in the second tags, but also refresh the first one. So we have more material to exchange ideas on the next week. So it's okay what, uh, what you are planning to do. Okay, so I don't know what happened with Hasem, Francesco, and, and huh? I, I don't know. Uh, if you want, I can explain you this project, but it's better if uh, you see the images. Okay, maybe you can explain briefly a little bit. So next week we have a deeper idea on it. Okay. Okay. So uh, you're online again. The Go on. The goal of the project was uh, to plan a public space in this neighborhood in Cartagena. So uh, we, the, the class uh, I was attending, we participated to uh, a festival, the Mucho Mas Mayo. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the, the first step was to was to go there and uh, for. Uh, in order to, uh, to know the community and to understand the identity of the neighborhood. And uh, we realized a series of maps, uh, maps of uh, invisible things like the relationship, a 
visual uh, public spaces. And then the second step was to make uh, models of uh, our uh, proposal of integration of this neighborhood. And uh, we show all these models uh, to, to the community, to the residents. So they can, uh, they had uh, two weeks to vote uh, uh, the, the, the project that they liked the most. And uh, then there was uh, a winning project, and uh, we realized uh, the project in, uh, in, a, in a square in, uh, in this neighborhood. And uh, we went there, uh, we built this uh, material, we go in there uh, with, uh, with concrete, uh, grades, uh, and uh, at the end it was a uh, you know, the community appreciated uh, really much this project because uh, they, they had the possibility and uh, the occasion to talk about their uh, expectation, about the community, their fears, uh, and uh, their point of view. And they had the, the possibility to know each other. And uh, children, especially children, they liked it uh, very much. So no, if you when you see the images, you can understand better. Okay, thank you, Sarah. Sounds sounds wonderful, and also the implication of children, as we were talking that uh, it has been a very important part also in Norway, as we have read in the updates uh, of all the work that Belinda and the rest of the team are doing there. So it could be great to go deeper in the project. The next week, uh, we're going to try. We're going to try uh, to listen to Hassem without the the camera to see if it works better. Hassem, it's your turn. Okay, I think the sound is good now. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Um, I talk about the project. Uh, I didn't post it yet on a blog, which is, it's in Egypt. It's about. Uh, it's called Safia. Uh, Safia. It's a cultural wheel, okay? It's a cultural hub now in Egypt. Again, 2003. But uh, I couldn't think about it because um, it's, it's a place, it's under a bridge, under a, a, a car bridge, okay? Which, and also looking for the line. So it's a wonderful place which uh, um, it was abandoned before. Now it's kind of hard for uh, every artistic move or for underground music or every political views and documentaries uh, to be shown okay. there. So it's a lot of It's in a place which is abandoned and it's under a car bridge which uh, no, nobody made it since in there, but now it's a very important culture hub. Okay, thank you, Hassem. Uh, we're going to try to. Okay? Yes, yes, I, I, we understood it perfectly. I don't know the rest of the team. Hassem, you don't have uh, the microphone. Oh, sorry. Here. Now, now. <laughs> I'm sharing uh, the links of the project in Dreamhammer in Dreamhammer's blog. Uh, through the live stream. Okay. So you can see it there. And I think Sarah hasn't shown problems with Hasem. So maybe we can try with Sylvia and then go on with the booklet and the ideas we can have for the starter get square. So maybe Sylvia, you can try to explain us your research. You're online now. I'm sorry, I really don't find uh, the call the call out any times. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but maybe you you make a call uh, from a serial call, and I'm not in it. Oh, sorry for that. I well, it's possible to that. Maybe oh, I, she's... Think, I think you are. I don't know. Francesco, remember we've been exchanging emails about this the, this yes, week. Yes, yes. Sylvia was in the in the list, so maybe we can check this. But uh, 
didn't matter. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, but let's <laughs> check if the app that I can't because you are making the call. So just check if she's in the circle. Okay, we will check. But yes. well, uh, it doesn't matter, Sylvia. Just uh, uh, can you let us know if you understood the the approach of the tags or the meaning of storytelling to work it on it next week? Yes, and if you have some some ideas. So just just a minute. I'm I'm reading now your your post, and you have uh, talk about storytelling inspirational. We want you to to tell us and to share what uh, what is about this post uh, and share with other people. So uh, it's your turn. Thank you. And I presented three projects in this post. Uh, that for me are inspirational in storytelling, and I hope for you too. They are from uh, arts files, more than urbanists maybe, but in some way they could be inspirational for, for everyone. Um, the first one is uh, really a simple project made in Linz, and uh, in 2009. Um, it was, um, yeah, I don't know if you all can see the images that are on the blog. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, so there are this uh, short text uh, on the ground uh, in the city where you can um, read what happened during the Second World War, but it's much more than that because they they speak about some facts that usually are not told by history books. So some people who are involved in um, in Nazi and for how it was said in the right way because it's a delicate. Uh, um, so it was said in Nazi tyranny. We can say I don't know mm -hmm. if it's the right stuff, but. <laughs> And um, I thought it was really so simple and so effective because you pass by and you cannot read it in some way. And the second one is a project by JR, who is a street art uh, artist that you may all know. And it's really well known all around the world, but I think that uh, it was interesting because uh, it's not just uh, street art for uh, itself, but it's really for people. Hello? Oh, Sylvie's gone. With such wonderful projects. Well, he was with the... Uh, no, he's, she's here. Okay. Sylvia? Yeah. Can you yeah. continue? We lost you Sorry. a few seconds. Yeah. Go on. Please. I'm sorry about it. And um, I've, I have a role to have the chance to, to listen to him, and uh, it was really inspiring. And it's about uh, so people and um, hanging out, uh, posting people portraits all around the world. I'm sorry for the noise, I think that um, it's just for our chat. I have to manage the settings next time. And, um, and also from JR, there's a project who, who is at the same time also participating, so a, a little bit of community maybe could uh, answer to both the uh, uh, tag. And uh, it's, a, it's a, nice, um, a website where you can upload your picture and that uh, give you the possibility to print it, to recite or print it. Uh, Sorry for that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so I pass, 
I'm going quickly. I don't know if I have to go deeper or... No, no. I think it's okay because <laughs> that way we have enough time, all of us, and we can go deeper okay. in the blog. Thank you very much, Sylvia. And uh, I don't know, the, the interesting thing about this research, it's trying to generate ideas on how these kind of small actions can be used in a store target. But I haven't, uh, we haven't the opportunity to listen uh, complete to Hassem and nor to Fabrizio that it's on the, on the video. So uh, I want to know maybe if you start thinking of if you have some ideas on how you can apply or start doing some things in, in a store target. Uh, Hasem, can you listen to us or can you talk? Uh, ah, sorry. Uh, go, go on, Francesco. Abbiamo cominciato soltanto uh, martedì con gli studenti. Però già domani cominciamo a lavorare cercando di capire qual è la struttura dello spazio, dello, dello posto attorno e il contesto attorno. So Fabrizio, you say that we are, uh, we have just, uh, they have they just started in Milan uh, working on that last Tuesday. They, they set up uh, a, pro, a methodology for that. I, I, you can see in the diagram, it's about writing a text, uh, having some uh, cartography uh, input from the students, and after that, making a physic model, physical model of the, of the square. And in the video, I also heard that uh, there is uh, Marco, I think, or one of the team who is working. Uh, he's a landscape architect, and he, he's especially interested in the relation between the lake and the square, which is quite interesting. And related to that, uh, there is uh, a quite important thing to consider. I, I, I've never been there, but it's quite surprising from you can see it uh, in the photo and in the section of the square that from the upper point of the square you can see uh, the, the lake so there is a quite direct relation okay thank you francesco uh, something more fabrizio yeah. um, thank you francesco la si sì, diciamo che hai detto tutto uh, in particolare quello che devono fare gli studenti per la settimana prossima è questa cosa che vi dirò adesso. Going into some detail, uh, students have uh, some home homework for the next week and uh, he's, uh, he's going to say what it's about, like a surprise. No. <laughs> uh, uh, for uh, know and understand the context, the urban context, diagrams, sketches uh, about the target and the surrounding, uh, 10 lines of text in English, uh, suggestions, uh, etc. Uh, and uh, um, the uh, l'inizio di costruzione di questo modello che ci servirà per capire anche la struttura del dello stoccolpi. So that they are going to go to realize finally to build a physical model. We also made one. Uh, for the presentation and the exhibition uh, at the opening event. You can see a video of the model in which we are explaining the process. It's in the website under the section Urban Design. And just one more thing I would like to add that uh, today 
and this is also for Ethel and Papo, I just sent to Fabrizio some materials we have used for the, at the beginning, like uh, AutoCAD files, <laughs> well, DXF files, uh, photos, interesting links, and I'm going to share uh, these with all the participants if you want to, if you need them. Uh, another thing I would like to add is that I think it's quite interesting to have both uh, approaches from Politecnico di Milano and the Limerick the School of Limerick. Maybe we will have uh, more uh, traditional or uh, architectural outputs, and maybe other participants could develop some uh, more, uh, I don't know, different ideas or strategies. Yes. I don't know if you agree, if it's your, uh, if you agree with me, but when, uh, Yes, of course, of course, Francesco. Thank you. By the way, we were talking a part of the things that we were left in for the last uh, 10 minutes or five minutes. It's to let you all know that for the next week, it could be interesting if we exchange some brief ideas on the research. But as we have the blog for going deeper on that, it could be interesting if we start exchanging ideas on the on your ideas for the store target and not left it only for the last session. All these research that you can consult in the blog uh, can help you to have fresh ideas and start making, I don't know, diagrams, notes, uh, drawings. And on the next session, we also want to exchange some ideas, uh, some I don't, your own ideas, not only the research, your own ideas for the square. Uh, I don't know if, if it's, it's clear. It's, it's clear. Uh, for example, uh, I'm looking at a website uh, of uh, Vimana and I'm looking to, to the Sylvia's post. And uh, the first example in Siru could be a, a way to 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 share some thoughts of uh, our workshops in the square to people interact with that idea. So, for example, uh, we have to paint it to green or black and uh, let, let them uh, send message uh, with that kind of uh, street art. So, we have to to take our uh, posts and our examples and, uh, and bring in, them, bring in them uh, to the store target uh, square. Is it uh, sufficient clear? It's not uh, ah, okay. It's not to think new ideas. It's how uh, can we apply that kind of ideas that we are researching to a store target? Or also uh, remember that to have inspiration and to learn is not on, only for applying. You can deny some strategies because you don't feel they are proper for this kind of context. So the, the interesting part of the network design is to exchange our ideas, why I decide to propose this painting or why I don't want to use QR codes because people there doesn't have mobile phones or whatever. Uh, uh, exchanging some ideas, denying, making a cleaning approach so we can all together work for the final stage of the process. Uh, why, why can we make a, a burning man but made by snow, for example? <laughs> so using snow to, to make some sort of temporary uh, sculptures in the, in the square. Yes, uh, I don't know. Sarah, you want to say something more, for example, about this? Uh, well, uh, I, was, uh, I was thinking about uh, the project uh, as I'm a artist about uh, the eye line in New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought that uh, the, the main thing of uh, that project is that, uh, you know, it is particular of New York. You cannot find it in, uh, in another place in the world. So I think that one important uh, thing in the, in the design of the, in the square in Sotokia is 
to, to give a, a specific identity yes. to that place with a, with a project that you can find only uh, there, only in Amar. And uh, that, uh, yes, you can apply a strategy in other places, but um, I think it should be very, very typical of the place. So okay. Hassem has to talk now about yes. <laughs> what has said uh, Sarah. Sarah. It's your turn, Hassem. Are you there, Hassem? Yes. Okay, I'm here. I hope this time there will be no problem. Okay, uh, like Sarah said, uh, it's not, it must be our legacy as a suggest that it's going to be something only in Hammer. So the reason that uh, found in Hammer is the name, the, the Mejuta or whatever it's called name, okay? And the vertical axis is from the cathedral to the lake and the fact that the lake is... Okay, can you hear me? No one can understand. Mm. Better. Better. Now it's better, Hassem. A little. Okay, I got, I got closer to the mic. I think the fact that the lake is viewable from the square is making a lot of possibilities, okay, which is only can be found in Hara. And uh, I think the climate is uh, the biggest challenge. So I think it must be um, something uh, which is environmental uh, interactive, you know, it uh, changes due to the weather. Okay. 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 Thank you. I I have to to say something about uh, Hassan proposal. Okay, it's uh, uh, store target is mm -hmm. a a parking place, so. I can uh, think that uh, it's some related to to a kind of sort related with Highline because it was a transportation infrastructure and we have to uh, reuse it uh, and reinvent it uh, now again. It's it's uh, clear that it's not uh, the same place and the same uh, meanings and mm -hmm. the same project, but I think it's uh, a little bit related uh, through this yes. idea. Um, also remember that in the booklet we have images of the new buildings they are working there and the uses of the of the streets there so the i think that we have the all of us has the task to try to understand the context even if we are not there physically we try to understand the context to know how these ideas we are exchanging here can be possible for that side so uh, please go through the booklet, then see the blog, then, uh, I don't know, just full, fill your mind with all the ideas, trying to, I don't know, to explode <laughs> and, and bring new ideas of all this information. Just, I think. Uh, just pick up Francesco to answer uh, Silvia. Francesco. We can hear you, Francesco. You are mute. Okay, yes. No, okay. no. Yeah, it was, was, was wondering. Yes, Silvia was asking in the chat, could we ask if you, if you have collected some voices from Hammer in Navy Dance in this past week of on-site workshop? Uh, the answer is yes, we have, but the problem is that it's not still not translated, entirely translated in English. Uh, I just, when I will finish the talk, I will pass here in the chat a link uh, of uh, the material we have translated. We have only one post now, and it was about technology uh, workshop, uh, because we have five topics. Uh, it's technology, activities, uh, seasonal strategy, people, and uh, one I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I will look for it. So this is the five topics we are working on, and uh, it was it is quite interesting to see that Hazim is working on 
I mean, he once worked about seasonal strategies because I think the, the, the ideas from Nor Norway would be very different from ideas from Egypt about, about this kind of, of subject. And I think it's the interesting thing. So we will try yeah, to explain uh, as much as we can the results in order to create connection between on-site and online workshops. And we are, we are also thinking uh, with Paco and Ethel, we have the discussion this morning, to invite someone from Hammer here in one session. It's not sure uh, if we are going to do that, but we are thinking about strategies like that. Okay. okay, also... I, I hope it's answered to you, Silvia, I don't know if you want to say something. Uh, I'm going just a brief, a brief point that uh, remember all of you that uh, we can have uh, also updates every morning, every Monday with Belinda live session. So even if I know you're all working and maybe doesn't fit in your schedule, but then uh, all the updates are posted in the Dreamhammer blog. So it's experience. live experience. I don't remember the tag, maybe Francesco or Uska, Uska can put it here. But uh, in these sessions, there is always updates, collect impressions for the local inhabitants, politicians, all the people involved. So it can be a good source uh, for us to understand what is happening physically there. And I have a second point to, to, to point out. Uh, we have to think that uh, we are working uh, for a store target square. We don't have to uh, end uh, a project. We have to uh, give uh, give uh, to a target square a sort of kind of ideas, a sort of uh, a s how can I say a brainstorming S uh, of brainstorming. Uh, we don't have to end a project. We have to uh, give them ideas. So. If we have to talk about uh, a square of Cordoba that is uh, 42 uh, degrees. degrees Celsius at the summer, we have to, because these kind of things uh, can make uh, people from uh, Amar to think different from uh, from what it, what they are. Sorry, what uh, yeah, uh, what they are. But they are thinking uh, <laughs> thank you uh, in a usual way or usual day I'm trying to explain that it's very important to put divergent ideas on the top of the table to be creative uh, with uh, an open peer-to-peer -peer design process and also remember don't be shy also with the digital technologies as we and Andres are the only two online workshops, it's interesting that all these things that we are doing here, using the Google Hangout, the internet, maybe gave us, uh, can give us ideas to know how to interact with that physical place. That's why we, uh, we sometimes mention uh, QR codes, or we have some other examples about digital mapping or the Wi-Fi net project to have ideas uh, in both ways, in the physical space, but also how can you interact with that space being away. So don't be shy, you, we are here to brainstorm, to dream, to design. To dream so, our lives. Yes. <laughs> so please uh, feel free of doing that. <laughs> I don't know, Fabricio, something else? We can hear you. Yes, uh, the, um, the workshop uh, is a little hard. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's, I, <laughs> that I think. <laughs> but well, don't worry, just. We, try to, <laughs> we, we will try to. to to make all that you I, I, 
there is, there is like a competition between schools. That is what we want. We have an advantage because today uh, Javier is not here, so he lost one session. <laughs> You're winning, Fabrizio. <laughs> Silvia, do you want to comment anything about all these ideas or network design or digital tools? What do you think about this? Um, if I can talk in Italian and Francesco translate, um, diciamo che è un po' difficile farlo con gli studenti che sono abituati ad una, diciamo, a fare una serie di cose abbastanza standardizzate. No. Ok, Fabrizio dice che è molto difficile usare questo tipo di tecnologie con gli studenti perché sono abituati a uh, to have a standardized, standard, standardized idea of what is uh, architectural learning and what is uh, production in the school. Okay. Just, and just a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, there is a fact in the workshop that, uh, that, is, that is very important for us. Uh, we can talk to you. So we have changed the plan for today's uh, keynote. We are going to change the plan for the next keynote because we are feeling that uh, you feel uncomfortable or unconfident, it's, very, it's a better word, with some kind of... Uh, so we have... We are going to post some things to help you. Don't think that we are professors and, and you are, and you are uh, um, students. We are also participants. So. We are learning from you what uh, we have to do in the next week. So uh, the next post uh, will be about some different things that uh, we have thought uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. for example. Yes. <laughs> well, I think it's time to give Sylvia a voice. He has been very quiet the last <laughs> minutes. <laughs> uh, I'm... I give him, I'm giving I'm giving you both because we saw that you were uh, questioning some things in the chat. So what do you think about this this kind of uh, strategies of designing all together and and exchanging ideas and brainstorming? How do how do you feel this? <laughs> oh, it's great. It's really great and I think that uh, we have not to be scared about it but really to to share everything as by in our heads. I've just made a workshop this weekend with the children from six to ten years mm -hmm. and I found that they really give a, a lot of ideas about uh, themes that are not usually for, for children. So maybe we have to, to... I am not an architect or a urban planner but I have to try to think how in which way I'd like to have a a school, a school like in Navarre. So I think that it will work. Okay, thank you, Sylvia. Uh, I don't know, we are almost Urska. on time. Urska? Urska. We have cultural Urska project. Can you, can you, can you talk? Can you talk to us and explain how can you, uh, <laughs> what, whatever Hi. you want? Hi, finally, Hi. we're listening to you. <laughs> Not only on the chat. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's been a long time, no? Hello. I really like your session. It's really great. Oh, and, thank uh, you. It's really great to listen to all of you because you have so great ideas and everything. Can you hear me? Yes. No, well, you were uh, sharing some contents in the chat. Maybe you can uh, share some ideas or this approach with, yeah, with the participants. Say that also this summer we have a project with children and uh, it will be you know, updated on uh, our website. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, I'm not alone here, so... Oh, okay, don't worry then. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Well, I think I'm, we are almost in time. I don't know if Francesco wants to set up any recommendation for the next week. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. Um, maybe with Andres, uh, we decided to, to ask uh, participants to send us uh, for the next week a very quick proposal. So I think it's a little bit the same what you were asking okay. before, just to, because the thing is that the, is, the amount is very short, so yes. we, we, maybe we have to, but I, uh, I think that uh, the, the ideas that are coming out are uh, okay, and I'd also like your uh, methodology about uh, mixing uh, what each participant is saying, uh, to talk about that. I have uh, also a news to announce, it's not uh, uh, official, so I shouldn't do that, but uh, I'm doing it. <laughs> that maybe we, we can uh, have, uh, we will uh, make a workshop uh, there in, in Hammer, and, make, and the idea is to invite some participants of online workshops at the end to, to go there and participate. So if you are interested, uh, uh, just uh, think about it, and uh, I, 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 uh, I, I, I give you more information in the next uh, weeks about the call for our participants. Okay, thank you, Francesco. <laughs> well, okay, people. You, well, just summarizing, we're going to work for the next week in the first two uh, two tags, but not only analyzing or researching projects, also proposing ideas. So we highly recommend you to read the booklet, to follow Belinda updates, as, as we were saying, and, and don't be shy to propose these ideas. I think this is the main point where we can have a good approach to the end of the workshop. Don't be, don't be shy and, and keep on dreaming. <laughs> I think a good, a good concept, concept to, to explain what we are talking mm -hmm. about is to link to link uh, some research projects to DreamAmar. Mm -hmm. uh, if you select a project and describe it and then uh, link to the DreamAmar possibilities, it could be fine. So, I think... It's over? Yes. So, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, we repeat that. Uh, feel free to get in touch with us via email, via Twitter. Uh, if you need some help with the blog here at Urska, Francesco, 